Hi there. I've been asked by one of my very good Flickr friends. You know who you are, don't you? How I did the polar coordinates on the poppy. So here goes. Well, here's the image that I started with. It's got one image on a background. But if we look down here, we can see it's a little bit big to start with. So in my case, I'm going to have to do something about that. It's like 60 meg, which is quite large. So I'm going to make it a bit smaller. So I'm going to go up to image. I'm going to go to resize and image size. And what I'm going to do is put the width in at something like, let's say, 800 pixels. So it will work a lot faster. OK, well it's gone teeny tiny, but if I press Ctrl and plus, I can bring it back to a reasonable size. Right, I now want to crop it. I want to tighten up on just round the poppy. So I'm going to use the crop tool. I'm going to go to crop. And then I'm going to pull it in as tight as I can round the poppy right up to here. That's yeah, that don't look bad. And I'm going to click the tick to accept it. I'll just control and plus another once just to make it well, probably twice, just to make it a bit bigger. There we go. Right, and now I want to duplicate this layer. I'm going to go over to the layers palette and I'm going to right click. And select duplicate layer. I'm then going to click OK and just accept background copy as the name. I've now got two layers, exactly the same one stacked on top of the other. OK, next I want to move this layer, the top layer, out of the way. So I'm going to get my move tool. I'm going to hold the shift key down to make sure that I do it horizontally. And then I'm going to move that layer just off the screen. Click and drag until it just disappears. So it's still there, but it's just not visible. So now to make it visible, I want to make this canvas a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Image, Resize and Reveal All. And what that will do is I'll just make the, basically make the hole bigger so I can see both images. So I've now got my background and I've got my background copy image, but they're both the same. I really want to reverse one of them for, for the symmetry so that they're both facing towards the middle. So I'll pick the background copy, which is this top one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want to flip it. Now in Elements 9, which is what I'm working with here, this is in the Transform. So if I go into free transform, you can either press Ctrl and T or just go into image and transform and free transform. I'll enter transform mode. Now if I move my mouse within the transform, anywhere in here, and right click, I get an option down at the bottom to flip the layer horizontal, which is what I want to do. And then I'm going to click the tick. So now I've got my two layers here, and I need to flatten them down into one layer. So I'm going to go over to the Layers palette, the little flyout menu. Now you may not be able to see this, it may be just hanging off the edge of the screen, but you want to select Merge Down, or press on your keyboard Ctrl and E. And what that will do is flatten everything back to a background here. And here we've got the, the flattened image. What next? Well, before I can do the polar coordinates, what I want to do is to make this image taller. I want to make it square. So I'm going to go back to image and resize and image size. So now the width is 798 pixels along here. My height is 315. So if I want to make this square, I want the height to be 798. But if I type 798 in here, because they are linked together, the width will go up as well. And I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is, to get rid of this link, 
I'm going to go down and where you see here constrained proportions that to tick I'm going to take it out and that will make this disappear so now I can type whatever I like in here and I'm going to type in 798 and then I'm going to click OK so I've now got my poppies nice and square ready to do my polar coordinates so polar coordinates is in the filters menu so I'm going to go to filter distort and polar coordinates get the little dialog box comes up so I'm going to click minus just to have a look mm, not so keen on that quite like it but these are coming from the outside I prefer it if they're coming from the inside so I'm going to cancel out of that don't want that to happen what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip this upside down now so again I'm going to have to use transform so I'm going to go to image transform and free transform or press the control and T again anywhere inside the transform I'm going to right click but this time I'm going to flip the layer vertically here we are now upside down I'm going to click the tick to accept it to commit the current operation and I'm going to try filter distort and pull the coordinates again now I'm going to click the minus just bring that on so you can see it just bring the minus on and that it's quite good I quite like that so I'm going to click OK and the transform will now happen now that's pretty good but I think on the one I did in Flickr what I did is I, I reversed that one so let's try that so we'll go to image transform and free transform again right click inside and flip the layer vertically yeah I think that works better I'm going to click the tick there we have it a polar poppy that was how to do it hope you enjoyed it I'll see you later bye